Hello. We are at the CES 2017 show. Uh, what we are looking at here is the newest demonstration of RTRK software stack running on top of Qualcomm Snapdragon 828 chip. Uh, we are doing this demo in partnership with Qualcomm uh, on their Qualcomm Automotive boot. Uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 828 is a new uh, automotive chip that still lacks some software support uh, that RTRK provides on top. Uh, software provided by RTRK uh, is actually an SDK that enables the development and execution of ADIS algorithms that run in parallel with infotainment units and also that are load balanced and can utilize the computing capabilities of the chip. So here in this demonstration, we have assembled a referent uh, model with four cameras and also with uh, four lens sensors, ultrasonic lens sensors, that are interfaced to the main board that has the Snapdragon processor. So this here is the uh, Snapdragon board. Uh, through the uh, safety controller down there, uh, and this is the basis. So on this Snapdragon, we execute the complete software stack. So this software stack, you can see here, uh, it runs in containment system. Uh, here in the infotainment system, we uh, see the bird view algorithm that is sourced in from the ADAS part of the SDK. Uh, and actually, there are also some other algorithms like driver monitoring. So driver monitoring and bird view are running in parallel. So, one of the benefits of the SDK is that we are able to run multiple algorithms in parallel. Here you can see drive bird view and driver monitoring running side by side. So the bird view algorithm uh, is actually enables the driver to see the full surrounding of the car and the driver monitoring to monitor the driver for attention. The SDK allows the load balancing while in the background uh, we have the infotainment unit running all the time and all the communication abstractions from the infotainment uh, to the ADAS is actually provided by the SDK. So all the eventing, communication between the ADAS and infotainment, communication between the algorithms themselves and facilitating the development is all provided. Uh, the, one of the main things of the SDK is the abstraction of different kinds. So we abstract the input parts, the cameras, and the sensors, so the algorithm developers don't need to know about that. And also we abstract uh, algorithm pipeline, so that you can split the algorithm into different phases, and each phase can be decided on which is the best core to be executed at, whether it's a CPU, DSP, or GPU. Uh, also, we have abstractions for exchanging information between these blocks, and also uh, abstractions of output uh, so that the uh, algorithm can easily share information through any of the output interfaces, being that the cameras or HDMI interface, uh, or we can send uh, the output to the um, infotainment unit directly so to uh, have these effects. Uh, what is important here to state out that the responsiveness is unparalleled both for the uh, infotainment stack that is also developed with the help of an SDK from RTRK that has the ability to design animated, fast graphical user interfaces. And everything that you saw here can run under Android OS or automotive grade Linux. Uh, so it is ready for the further deployment. And we are also able to fully scale to the, uh, to the solution with the powertrain control through the middleware um, component that is provided by our partner companies. So we are pretty much a one-stop shop for your uh, in-vehicle environment needs. Thank you very much.